Hey, I'm John Grease III, I'm the founder of Garage Gym Life, and this is my unboxing video of my Rogue Monster Squat Handle Pair. Okay, so I ordered these squat handles to do half fill squats with them, and I ordered them on Christmas Day with my Christmas money. I've been looking at these for quite some time, but two things held me back from pulling the trigger. Number one, I do not have a Rogue Squat Rack or a Power Rack. Instead, this rack is from Dyna Body Fitness. I've had it since about 2008, I think, and it's worked well for me. It's a three by three rack. And so, because it's a little bit of an older style power rack, sometimes attachments for the newer style power racks don't fit on it. But I said, hey, this technically isn't my own money that I'm using. It's you know money that I got from Christmas that I did not anticipate getting, and so I went ahead and said, hey, let's just go ahead and pull the trigger, and we went ahead and grabbed the Monster because the Monster is a 3x3 three three rack, and it seemed like the attachment was set to fit my whole spacing. So let's go ahead and just jump right into it, all right? As usual, I have only removed the tape just to speed up the boxing video. So let's go. Alright, I ordered this on Christmas Day, this is December 29th, and um, that's really good considering Rogue was closed on Christmas Day, so they processed everything really, really quickly. UPS guy came here and dropped it off, and I was like, alright, perfect. So that was really fast. Alright, so, show you guys what's in here, it's not really much to this. Um, of course, there's not much to the product, so it looks like they've got some cushioning here. Open that up. Okay, this is your carabine. Sorry, this is your pin. And this is, that's right, a Hatfield handle, or as they call it, a monster squat handle. This does come as a pair. So, I'm expecting to see two of these in here. So there's another pin, and boom, another handle. So, now comes the moment of truth. Let's see if this sucker fits on the rack. Hey guys, we're gonna get right back to the video you were watching, but I wanna remind you first that Garage Gym Life is sponsored by you. And there are three critical ways that you can help us continue to do what we do. Number one, if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button, click the notification bell. Not only will it make sure that you know whenever we put out fresh content here on YouTube, but the more subscribers we have, the easier it is for me to get interviews with the people that you wanna hear from and get my hands on the equipment that you guys wanna see me review. Number two, if you like this video go ahead and drop a comment to let me know what you liked about it if you don't like the video at all go ahead and drop a comment let me know how I can improve the next time I put out a video for you because I want you to see stuff that you want to see number three share this video with somebody else and tell them the same thing that I just told you in number one and two because that is how the word spreads about us organically and as a bonus you can go ahead and click that join button and become a member for just 99 cents a month and 12 dollars a year doesn't seem like a whole lot but it goes a long way towards helping us change and revolutionize the way that home gym content is delivered and the home gym community is covered here on youtube okay moment of truth let's see if this fits on the rack all right the holes on the handles are a little bit smaller than the holes in my rack, but that's okay. I don't care about that. I just wanna make sure that it goes on here. So let's go ahead, grab one of these pins. Line it up. See if we can get this little, might have to depress this little nipple a little bit. Bam! Okay, there's a little bit of slop but that's okay because it looks like it's in here very securely. Let's go ahead and get the other one in. Correct. Okay. Fits well. Again, a little bit of slop, but it looks like it's gonna it's gonna work just fine. 
Let's give it a test drive. Squat down. Feels nice and sturdy. All right, so these retailed for $145 plus shipping. As I said, they got here really quickly. It's uh, the 29th of December. I ordered these on Christmas Day, and it wasn't like I ordered it at midnight on Christmas. Um, but I ordered it on Christmas Day, so you figure Christmas was not only a holiday, it was also a Sunday. So the day after Christmas was a day off for a lot of businesses. I'm not sure if Rogue was open or not. The point I'm making is I ordered on Sunday and they got here by Thursday. So I didn't pay for any extra shipping. I paid for the regular shipping. And uh, so I'm really pleased about that. They could have done a little bit more with the packaging, but the product arrived. I don't really see. Let's check this out here. Give you guys a closer up look at it. I don't really see a, a bunch of scratches or anything like that. There's a little bit of I don't know what this is on the inside here. Looks like it's just dust. Okay, so that's pretty good. Looks like it's got some uh, some UHMW here to kind of cushion these holes. So that's good. All in all, I think it's the perfect rack attachment because it's simple, not a lot of moving parts, which means not a lot of stuff to go wrong and break on you. Um, this thing here, I mean, this, if something goes wrong with this, I could probably just go to like um, a Harbor Freight or something and just get a trailer hitch pin to replace it, but I don't anticipate any issues with it. Might hit up my guy over at Bear Steel Equipment and get something a little bit more custom, but I'm, um, you know, what more can you expect out of it? A few scratches that may have come from transit, but all in all, I'm pretty happy and I'm looking forward to using this thing here on my rack. I don't even think that this thing requires that much of a uh, follow-up. The biggest thing is to be like operator error because I'm here figuring out how to get it in there. Anyway, like I said, I'm pretty happy with these, especially since this is the first Rogue attachment that I've ever gotten for my power rack. And so now I've got a little bit more confidence to order more products from Rogue that would normally go on the Monster and I have more confidence that they're going to fit on this Dyna body rack. So that is my unboxing video for the Rogue Monster Squat Handle Pair. If you are interested in getting a pair of these but you do not have a 3x3 rack, they also have these for the Monster Lite and those handles are actually less expensive than the Monster Squat Handle Pair. So if you have a rack that has OSI spacing with the smaller holes or it's a two by two rack, you might want to check that out as well. And in fact, what I'll do is I'll put the link for both the Monster Squat Handle Pair and the Monster Light Squat Handle Pair for your convenience.